Finished? As far as I can go here. And what about the bullet? I'll know more when I open him up, but I'd say 38 caliber. Uh, powder burns? She said he had a gun. Looks like the only thing this guy was carrying was a videotape. Uh, I thought that... Honey, it's not your fault. Looks like somebody shot an unarmed man here. Yeah, Carl Hutchins, damn it. I'm gonna have to take you all down to headquarters for your statements. Ryan, if I were you, I'd have a lawyer meet me there. This thing looks... looks lousy. Vinny, make sure he comes. Vicky, I need to talk. Look, I don't need to talk to you. I need to talk to Ryan. 405 South Street, 0100. Transporting the suspect to headquarters. Get that? The captain's bringing Ryan Harrison in on suspicion. God, Ryan's in trouble. Don't panic. Where are you going? Fine, fine. You're not driving. I'm no! Stay out of our lives! Carl didn't make me do anything, Felicia. He just pointed out that I was grown up now and I was useful to him in different ways. He said I owed him. So he was asking you for your gratitude, is that it? No, not like that. Not the way you mean. Not then, anyway. No, first he wanted me to network for him. I get valuable connections, and he'd use them for his own purposes. Illegal purposes? No, it was all, it was all really, really vague. And I kept my eyes closed half the time. I mean, my grandmother, she taught me right from wrong. I mean, I do know what's right and wrong. I do. But the deeper I got into Carl's operation, the harder it was for me to tell the difference. Did you ever try to confront him? Yes, I asked him a few questions every now and then. And? And he would just tease me and say, oh, you're Graham's good little girl. And then he'd laugh and say, I wonder what Graham would think if she saw those naughty pictures. Very offhand, like it was our cute little secret. So he was blackmailing you? I guess you could call it that. You don't? Felicia. You and your friends hate Carl so much that you probably can't see it. But Carl has a really strange kind of pull. As though everything he touches takes on his power. And you could, too. He's magnetic. Obviously. And then... He would tell me what a great privilege it was for me to know so much about his business. <laughs> and how, how dependent he had grown upon my, my knowledge and skill. He made you do his dirty work for him. No felonies. No. Just fronting. I'd go into legit companies, work deals, get him in through the back door, bow out gracefully, and then leave him to have his way with them. You hated it? No. I loved it. Hated myself. Even if I had tried Felicia to get out, I couldn't have. Because by that point, I knew everything, and he wasn't going to let me loose. And he still had those pictures. Pictures? Maybe that's why I did what I did to Jenna. It had been done to me, and somebody had to pay. Felicia, somebody had to pay. But all along, I knew that I made my own choices. It's not too late, Lorna. You've already paid over and over again for your mistakes. <laughs> I wonder if you'd still say that if you'd never found out that we were related. I would like to think I would. Yes. No, don't. There's more. Carl and I did seal our alliance. With my full consent, of course. And we became lovers. And if I never knew how cruel Carl could be, I certainly found out then. And then when I met Matt, That's when I learned, finally, 
what it was like to love somebody. Carl can, can still be punished. No. Sorry, Felicia. Not me. He can't keep getting away with everything. Not this time. Felicia, Rick Madison has just been killed and Jenna was there. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Now.